this is the new Google Pixel 5. It's their brand new 5G enabled smartphone. Now the team at Google sent this to me to take a look at. So first of all, thank you Google. I wasn't paid to make this video and I wasn't actually going to make a video on the Pixel 5 smartphone until I started using it. And to be honest with you, if you're a traveler like me, I think this could be a really, really good option as a smartphone for travelers. And in this video, I wanna give you some of the reasons why I think that is. reason why I really like this phone for travel is the battery the way it uses the battery on this device it's got something called adaptive battery it gives priority to the apps that you use more and reduces the battery usage of those apps that are sitting in the background and it's supposed to give you up to 48 hours I mean you know what they claim all these manufacturers claim but it's supposed to give you longer battery life than other smartphones because it's smarter at just delivering that power to the apps you're currently using at any one time but the other cool thing is if you use Pixel Buds as well, you can wirelessly charge those Pixel Buds on this phone. So if you're out and your Pixel Buds are draining their battery, you can basically stick them onto the back of this, charge up your Pixel Buds and off you go. Second reason why I like this phone for travel, like a lot of phones nowadays, it's supposed to have a very good waterproof rating, IPX8 apparently. Thought I should test it. Still works. Okay, reason three, Google also claimed that this is a more secure phone. They say it has better security features with better encryption on the phone and security updates that automatically download in the background. That's really hard to test. I did think I'd raise it though because anything that gives you a more secure experience on your smartphone when you're traveling is a good thing. The only thing I'd add on top of that is if you don't use a VPN on your phone when you're traveling, you should probably download one. There's many out there. But yeah, download a VPN on your phone and if security is a big deal to you, have a look at what Pixel 5 offers in terms of its security protection because that could be another good reason why you might want to use this whilst you're traveling. Okay next up the weight of this phone this thing is really really light. Lola get out of bed it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So this is the Pixel 5 that comes in at 150 grams exactly it's nice and easy whereas the iPhone 11 is 197, 198. So yeah, this thing is 50 grams lighter than the iPhone 11. And you know what it's like when you're traveling, you really don't want to be carrying too much. And if you've got a heavy phone in your pocket all the time, well, the lighter the phone, the better basically. I just think it's nice that it's lighter than the iPhone 11. Let's test the camera on this thing because that's really important when you're a traveler. All right, I'm switching over to the um, Pixel 5 now. I'm going to record this whole next sequence just using the camera that's here. One really cool feature that this has that other Pixel phones didn't is a wide angle camera, not on the front facing one that I'm using now, but if I switch over. Don't live here, Bruce. Brucey, this is not your home. How many times do we have to remind you that you don't live here? Brucey, what are your thoughts on the new Google Pixel 5? I love it. Uh, no, don't go inside, don't go inside. Bye, Bruce. All right, the other thing I want to test, so let's record first of all, this is the Pixel 5 on one side of your screen so you can hear the audio. It's a windy day down here in Albert Park. So all you can probably hear is horrible wind noises, so I'm sorry about that, but I want to test what it's like because you're probably going to be using this in a windy environment. I don't know how usable that audio will be, but this is what it sounds like. You know, probably the worst conditions you could get here on top of a hill on a windy day wearing a face mask. Let's get out of the wind just so you can uh, hear me a little bit better. The acoustics in here should sound a lot better than obviously what you were hearing outside. The image as well that I've noticed on the Pixel 5 seems a lot more cropped in. I mean, you've only got to about here 
whereas on the iPhone it's a lot wider. The front facing camera is a lot wider on the iPhone. Now also the stabilization has been improved a lot on the Pixel 5 and in the camera app now you get these four different options for stabilization standard, locked, active and cinematic pan. Standard is what it's been on all this time, that's what it's been set to. Locked is pretty cool, if you set it to locked and start walking what it will do is it will crop in two times. You can see in this footage this is me walking up a hill with that lock stabilization set and it really holds it steady, I mean you can, you can just about see the footsteps in the movement. But aside from that, yeah, if you want to, if you don't mind the two times crop and you want a very steady kind of tracking shot, that would be the best one for you. Active is the next one for heavy movement, as it says. I just think it's slightly more stabilized than the standard. But then cinematic pan is basically exactly what it sounds like. If you do want to do a nice panning shot, turn on cinematic pan and it gives you a look a little bit like this. You can just see it's a nice, steady, stable panning shot. Look, it's, it's good to have these inbuilt in the phone. What I think it means is if you have used something like a Zion Crane or an Osmo Mobile to stabilize your footage in the past, you don't really need one of those anymore because the stabilization in the Pixel 5 kind of does it all in the phone itself. All right, just as we're driving, I'll record this bit on the Pixel 5 so you can hear what it sounds like without all that wind noise from outside, but you can also see what the camera looks like when there's slightly less natural light around there. The next point and the next reason why I really like this phone for travel is the storage. Now, the standard storage for the Pixel 5 is 128 gigabytes. So unlike the iPhone 11 where the standard is 64 gig, you actually get 128 as standard. They've also slightly increased the RAM in the phone. It's now eight gigabytes compared to the six gig, which you got in the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4a, which came out recently as well. But that 128 gigs as standard is an important one because yes, you can get an iPhone for a similar price to the Pixel 5, but if you wanna get the 128 gigs of storage, when you start comparing the price of this Pixel 5 to the iPhone, that's when things start to get interesting. So the Google Pixel 5 comes in at $999, that's the iPhone. The Pixel 5 comes in at $999 Australian dollars. The iPhone 11 is $1,279. And remember that's for the 128 gigabyte version. Just one important note, the iPhone 11, Apple do have a trading offer going on at the moment where you can get up to $350 off. It all depends on the state of your previous iPhone when you are trading it in. So theoretically, if you do own an existing iPhone with the trade-in value, you can actually get the 128 gigabyte version for less than the Pixel 5. But assuming you don't, the iPhone 11 is gonna cost you a little bit more than the Pixel 5. I am a little bit undecided though on the image quality, the video and photo quality between the two. I think the iPhone had a better microphone. I think the video though on the iPhone is a little bit warmer and slightly oversaturated compared to what you get off the Pixel 5. And the photo quality between the two, well, the level of detail in both is fantastic, but maybe the iPhone 11 had a little bit more dynamic range, so you could see a bit more details in the clouds and in the shadows than you could on the Pixel 5. But again, it just comes down to personal preference, what style of audio, video, and photo quality you wanna get off a phone. As always, let me know your thoughts on this new bit of technology in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of the Pixel 5. If you're into your technology, here's a playlist on some more product tests and technology tips here on the channel. Otherwise, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video. No. You can't go inside.